We were lucky to live in a row of houses that had green out the front and up our end trees known as the woods. We played out for literally hours on end. There were quite a lot of us playing out after school and the weekends and the favourite games were hide and seek and knock down ginger. We were all expert tree climbers. My dad was self-employed demolition man and he often had spare wood about and made us stilts to play on. We all used them and got quite good too but he was one of the best. He also had an old pair of metal wheeled roller skates and we had jacker skates. These were the sort of skates that laced on over your ordinary shoes. I seem to remember many grazed knees and huge plasters but racing up and down the back alley was great fun and I still had the scars to prove it too. One glorious summer my dad had an enormous tarpaulin he found on a job built a very sturdy wooden frame and we had a large swimming pool on our back garden for all to use for the summer holidays. Such happy carefree days. My friend Gwen's dad had eating apples in his garden and he always made toffee apples for us once they were sweet enough to eat. And the strange thing is, when he passed away recently, all of us had but one good memory of him, toffee apples, and you could still taste them. On a good day we might get to go to the playground on Goat Green. There was a small pond there too, so a jam jar with a string handle and fishing net were the order of the day. But oh, how often we came home with soggy shoes and socks because so-and-so had pushed me in. We caught sticklebacks, tiddlers and the obligatory frog spawn. Hatbridge was famous for its kennels. There was a veterinary practice there too, and sadly an animal graveyard. My grandpa worked in the graveyard and kept it beautiful. He had spare time and grew the most wonderful runner beans there too. A real treat to be able to go and pick them for dinner.